Have you ever thought about where your produce comes from? Most grocery chains receive produce from various local and national farmers. In fact, there are about 3.4 million farmers in the United States today. But of that staggering number, only 45,000 are black farmers. At The Better Buggy, we are a proud group of Atlanta-based black-owned farmers, selling produce locally and nationwide. Our easy-to-navigate online platform makes it easy for you to make a one-time purchase or to simplify your life by subscribing to our weekly produce box. Whichever frequency you choose, you can order with confidence knowing you'll receive 100% organic farm fresh produce. If you're looking for a thoughtful gift for a loved one that they'd actually find useful, be sure to pop by our online store where you can snag a gift card your recipient can use to order their own produce and t-shirts. Ready to start supporting local black owned farms and making healthier food decisions? Visit thebetterbuggy.com now to start shopping. Ladies and gentlemen, the Louisville Police Department staffing is in dire strait, according to them, amid high crime rates, recruiting woes union. So they're having, like many police departments around the country, they're having a problem finding recruits. Gee, I wonder why. Maybe if you did a decent job every day, you wouldn't have these problems. But since you don't, oh well. So this is April 27th, 2021. Nearly 190 cops left the Louisville Metro Police Department, LMPD, in 2020. And 43 have stepped away from the Kentucky City Agency so far in 2021 either choosing to retire or resign altogether as law enforcement officials struggle to recruit new members to make up for a deficit in manpower. Authorities and a union spokesperson told Fox News on Tuesday. I would say that we're in dire straits, said River City Fraternal Order of Police Press Secretary Dave Munchler. Speaking to the current condition of LMPD staffing, Munchler also serves as a spokesperson for the Louisville Metro Officer Union. Statistics provided by LMPD on Tuesday shows the department hired 26 new members so far this year, while 43 left. The 10, I'm sorry, the 1,069 person department falls 255 people short of its authorized uh, strength. So they have lost a lot of people. So they said 1,324, the number of personnel it is authorized to employ. Uh, statistically. So they are allowed to have 1,324 and they got 1,069 right now. So they're shorthanded. Oh, well. Well, the way y'all police in this country, it just doesn't look very inviting for somebody to want to be a cop. You know, you think you're doing all your evil on us, but your overall appearance is just bad. It is not a good thing to be a cop. You know, I remember when I was growing up and you know how you go to school and you, your teacher is asking you what profession you would get in. And I remember quite a few of, uh, at that time, the black boys that were in my class wanted to be cops. But now that we got to see what cops really are in America, boy, what a turnoff. What a turnoff. From 2013 to 2019, the difference in actual employment numbers and authorized strength has changed. All right. So it ranged from 45 to 101. In 2020, it climbed to 161 before reaching 255 year to date in 2021 statistics show. Our manpower is critically low, Munchler told Fox News. One thing we have to consider when we're talking about recruiting is that in the climate that we are currently find ourselves, the pool of people wanting to become officers are shrinking every day. That's because y'all make the job look bad. 
You make the job look bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you do. He added, we obviously losing a lot more officers than we are gaining. And if that continues, at what point can we not operate appropriately? You have never operated appropriately. You're slave catchers, okay? <laughs> when did you ever operate appropriately? Never. Munchler noted that LMPD's most recent recruitment class, which graduated on Friday, consisted of 15 new hires, uh, opposed to 48. Okay, so normally they would get 48, approximately 70 of 188 people left LMPD last year, retired, while the rest chose to resign. Mm, mm, mm. We can't emphasize enough how critically and dangerously low our manpower is and increasingly enough those who uh, would break the law are paying attention to that. Yeah, but y'all break the law. Cops in America break the law, okay? Y'all do it every day. You think that badge is a free pass out of everything, including murder. Y'all break the law every day. Our homicide rates and our violent rate, uh, crime rates are through the roof. As of Sunday, there have been 84% more non-fatal shootings so far this year, with 201 compared to 109 instances reported during the same time in 2020, LMPD statistics show. There were 56 murders reported as of Sunday, a 75% increase from the 32 reported by April 25th, 2020. LMPD has often made headlines since March of 2020, the death of Breonna Taylor, a 26-year-old medical worker who was fatally shot during a police raid at her Louisville home. And Daniel Cameron still won't let her have her day in court. On Monday, U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland announced the Justice Department would be launching a pattern or practice investigation into the Louisville Jefferson County Metro government and the LMPD more than a year later. It will be determined whether LMPD engages in unconstitutional stops. You need to look at all police departments because they all engage in it. In America, they do. Searches and seizures, as well as whether the department unlawfully executed search warrants on private homes, Garland said during a news conference Monday. So Garland is the one that took William Barr's spot as the U.S. Attorney General. The police were serving a narcotics warrant on March 13th, 2021, and yeah, and they illegally broke into Breonna Taylor's apartment, tried to get her boyfriend for attempted murder. We know the story. In September, a Louisville grand jury declined to charge any officers in the death of Taylor because Daniel Cameron, if you remember, never presented Brianna Taylor's case to the grand jury. Many of you remember the story. For months, the raid was characterized as the execution of the no-knock warrant, meaning law enforcement officers could enter without knocking or announcing themselves. Uh, Kentucky Attorney General Daniel Cameron later contended that the officers did knock. And it's funny, the neighbors all said they heard no knocking only the one that the police department threatened, which was an African man, he was the only one. And then he recanted the story. He said he was scared. So, so much for that. But y'all, please tell me what you think about Louisville. Now can't find enough recruits to go back out here and terrorize and kill the black public in Kentucky. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.